Welcome back. So we ended the lesson by executing this code where we turned the motors on at 75 power, waited for two seconds, then we stopped. And I'll go and I'll compile this and you will remember that we were at uh, level one and we let this run for two seconds and then the robot stopped. We did that using the VEX Cortex when we did that, we opened a sample program. Notice this is the VEX 2.0. We were in the virtual worlds, and we picked a, a program, actually, that I had already given you. What I want to do is I want to demonstrate that we can do that with LEGO. So I'm going to change the platform type to LEGO Mindstorms NXT. And if I try to download this code, I would get an error message because some of the reserve words for uh, VEX are different than the reserved words for LEGO. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new sample program. Notice that this time, since I changed platform types, that my NXT is uh, highlighted. So I've got, a, instead of this saying VEX, it says NXT. And if I go to Virtual Worlds, I've got a smaller subset of programs here. Uh, we're actually going to be updating that this week. Let's go to File, Open Sample Program. I've got that on the. I've got the sample program that I want on the desktop. I'm going to select Lego Forward for Time. Now I've got two programs open. I've got the Vex Forward for Time. I've got the Lego Forward for Time. I'm going to hit F5. I'm simulating a Lego robot this time. We'll start the level, and we'll run this, and. The idea of this challenge is to allow us to go till we hit that marker. Let's take a look at this program. Okay, so this program is actually going forward for nine seconds, not the two seconds we had gone just a second ago. So now you can see that if I increase the amount of time that my robot is waiting, that it will go for a longer distance. Let's go back. Let's make that, uh, just to make sure that we get to where we need to, uh, let's make that 9.5 seconds. Let's hit F5. We've generated the code. We'll go back to that level. And this time, let's go straight. I'm going to show you another camera angle, so I'm going to select this camera right here. I'm holding the right mouse button. When you hit that target, what will happen is we finish the check one. Uh, you probably heard a little tingle sign. Maybe you see some stars up here. We're going to go to the next level. Well, the next level on this has you write code so that your robot turns. So your robot's got to turn 90 degrees, and then it's going to go, and it's going to hit this checkpoint right here. Let's take a look at the code that we have. We're at uh, checkpoint two. And we'll come back to that in a second. So I've got motor B and motor C. In order to change polarity, I'm going to make one of these a negative and the other one a positive. I know nine seconds is going to be way too long, so I'm going to make this one second. I'm going to upload that this code to my robot, and let's see what we get. So I'm going to hit F5. And this time we're at level two. So let's start the level, and let's execute this. Okay, so we can see that one second is nowhere near what we need. Let's take a look at this from a top view. Well, it's a little bit too far up. Let's go here. So let's hit this again. Let's hit this again. Okay, let's restart the level so we can see this one more time. Let's hit this. Let's hit it again. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere between 2.7 and 2.8. Let's just take a guess here. Eventually, next week, we'll use encoders instead of timing. It'll be a lot more accurate than what we're doing right now. I changed this to 2.8 seconds just on a guess. I hit F5 to download the code again. I'm at level 2. I'm going to start that level and let's execute the code. 
not quite enough. So we can go through this using trial and error since we are not using feedback from sensors until we get the results that we want. So it looks like it's around three seconds. Now we need to go straight. If I wanted to add that behavior, what I can do is I can copy this code right here. So I'm going to hit Control C, Control V, and I should note this. So I'm going to put a comment in here. We change the polarity for the turn. And so this guy here is going to be turning at a speed of 75. Now we want to go forward. We're going to change that back. We'll just leave it at three seconds. Uh, what I should have done and I didn't is I should have done a save as. Let's uh, save this as Lego level 2. Robot, compile and download the program. Go to level 2, start the level. Let's execute the code. And then we're going to go forward for three seconds. So, to conclude this lesson, what we've done is we showed you that you can do this in Lego and in Cortex. We showed you how to change the polarity of the motor by changing the direction of the power level, going from a positive to a negative. We showed you how you can cut and paste code, so we, did, uh, we selected it. I hit Control C, but what you could have done is you could have come to copy right here and then we can copy this and if we had another behavior right behind it we would hit control V for paste. So we're done for right now. This one was a little bit longer than my, what I wanted it. Have a good day. Try it on your own.